all right back in the video um about shame faced it you know um but here here's one you know it was talking about how women need to be shame faced there's a reason why you need to be shame faced because you women are shameless because you know it's funny tommy sotomayor says it you guys are the, are the head of our households and you destroyed our children you just generations have been destroyed because they were they were led by women, which was part of the plan. Willie Lynch set that up to be part of the plan to destroy our people, allowing the women to, to run our, our, our households, you know, because they did, there was no stability in, in the house, you know, because the, the order goes the most high God, the Lord, then the man, then the woman down to the children. That's that's the way it's set up. But when you take that man out, you don't connect the Lord and the Most High together, you know, from to the woman and the children, and that was that was strategically done. But you women still have pride, like y'all got it, you know, like you got the, just the best um, uh, decision makers out there. Let me read this uh, Isaiah three and twelve it says, "As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them." Yeah, our, our women is who rules our, our families, and that that children are their oppressors. That's talking about a a younger, more insignificant race of people, the so-called, well, the, the Edomites, I'll say it that way. It said, O my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths because they don't have the connection to the Heavenly Father. Um, yeah, let me jump down to 16. Uh, it says, Moreover, the Lord Yahweh saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk in stre with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and minting as they go, and make it a tinkling with their feet. Now that's about to list all kinds of things about you women, all the way down pretty much to the end of the chapter. But they show they're haughty, proud, walk with stretched forth necks, want attention and wanton eyes, looking every man all up in the face, seeing things that ain't theirs. You know? All of those things women shouldn't be about man that's why you should be shamefaced that is not shamefaced that's why you should be shamefaced matter of fact i'm gonna keep reading it says therefore the lord yahweh will smite with the scab the crown of the head of the daughters of zion and that's right there is why you're the only woman on the planet that doesn't grow hair all the way down her back naturally right now the so-called the so-called black woman or the negro woman you know that's what that's all about. Because he, he that's a curse he put upon you women. But in the kingdom of heaven, when you become shamefaced and, and so on and so forth, and you're, you know, under, under the statute of laws commandments of the most high God, when he writes it within your hearts as well, yeah, you're going to be right. So you're going to have your hair and all of that. So, and the Lord Yahweh will discover their secret part. They're going to know what, what all you did, everything you did. They're going to know about all of that. And it goes on to say what he's going to take away from you and, and the, the messed up things that he got going on within you. Yep. Um, go out of that and go to, um, what else did I want? Yeah, Jeremiah. Let's go to Jeremiah right quick. Um, yeah, because you guys are full of pride, man. Full of pride, which is the opposite of shame face. You know, you guys don't ever look at what you did as something wrong. Y'all the most proud people on the planet. It says, um, Jeremiah 31 and 22, How long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? Talking about the women of our nation, the Israelite woman. Not just the Negro woman, but the all the way down. The, the Hispanic and Native American woman as well. All 12 tribe women. For the Lord has created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. A woman's going to be over a man. And that's fulfilled in, in today's time. 2017, they're the head of the household. They're the ones that make the big decisions. They, they, they're the breadwinners of the household. You know, they, they do the finances and everything. You know, so, so that's, that's, that's fulfilled. You know, and, and with that being fulfilled, it, it has not benefited our people. Is that 39? 39, I believe it is. Let's see. Yeah, I think this is the one. Yeah. This is why you shouldn't have all that pride on you, why you should be shamefaced. Why you should reverence your husband. Um 
Yeah, I'm not gonna give the whole breakdown of the peacock and the and the and the ostrich and all of that. I'm not gonna get a whole breakdown, but but there's a lot of that that go. Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this part here with the 14, um, about the ostrich, um, Job 39 and 14, which leaveth her eggs in the earth and warmeth them in the dust, you know, and forget it that the foot may crush them, or that wild beasts may break them. Yeah, they're not paying attention to how to raise children the right way. Women aren't meant to 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 understand or know the way to to guide children the right way. It's for the man to be connected to the Most High God and the Heavenly Father to pass that down un, unto you. You know, but you guys are so proud. You think you got it. You can't listen to nobody. And so-called uh, white man Esau, he he always gives you license to go and do that because he knows it destroys the household. That's why he'll give you a job and make you a single parent home and, and leave the children with the woman. So there's no chance of that child growing up in the way that he should. Verse uh, 16. Uh, I always like bringing this out now. Um, the late Patrice O'Neill, a comedian, said something. You know, He said, I love my dogs because my dogs, and he, he was uh, uh, equating his dogs to, to women. He said, because my dogs, they, they need me. To, to eat, to whatever, they, they need me, you know, but they don't act like they don't, and that's how women act, women need a man, but they act like they don't need a man, and that's why you be all out of control and out of sorts and emotionally unstable and, and um, um, chemically imbalanced and everything else, because you need a man, you need that balance in your life. You don't know how to deal without it. But guess what? We don't need a woman. We want a woman. Our flesh wants a woman. But our spirits, we we need the Heavenly Father and the Lord. It goes down. It's, it's That totem pole is set up that way for a reason. Um, Verse 16, Job 39, 16. She is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. You know, because the Most High have deprived her of wisdom, neither has he imparted her to her understanding. She don't know how to deal with children and, and, to, and to raise a house, uh, children in the household and so on and so forth. You know, but they but they act like they know, like they just got it like that. You know, but it wasn't given to you for that. He put everything in order for for its purpose. Everything has its purpose to be fit together in its in its proper order. You know, but when you take that order, you mess that order up. There it is. You know, it changes everything. Yeah, um I'm going to jump to the point in Deuteronomy. This is the curse Deuteronomy 28 chapter um 28:55 so that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children. Matter of fact, I'm going to jump up cuz that's talking about 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not have ventured to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, because they were so womanly. We women, you women aren't womanly anymore. The so-called white man Esau, he's he's made you um, um, hard. Women, women's uh, especially the Negro woman, man. She the first thing you say when you ask a woman what's the quality that she got. I'm I'm a strong woman. I'm a diva. All these things are not womanly qualities, man. They're not womanly qualities. I'm a queen. Not knowing that the word queen means um, a prostitute. You know? Or um, I forgot the other word. But it means that. You know? Um, um, basically not shamefaced. It says, um, Her eyes shall be evil toward her husband, of, toward the husband of her bosom, and toward her son, and toward her daughter. And toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet. This is why you should be shamefaced. And toward her children which she shall bear. For she shall eat them for one of all things secretly in the siege and straightness. And that already happened. But it will happen again. Just like they're doing down in Venezuela. It's already part of that going down in Venezuela. You think they're not eating children over there? They're easy, easy prey. Tender meat. It says, uh, secretly in the siege and straightness. And yes, the Venezuelans are Israelites as well. It says, wherein thine enemies shall distress thee in thy gates. Yeah, man. 
you women got a lot to be shamefaced about, man. So it's it's shamefaced is, is is a I'm gonna go back to the definition. It's a look of guilt, a look of um like you know what you did. And I just I didn't even hit every scripture that they that they peg on you women. A, a look of remorse, sorry, repentant, guilty, conscience stricken, ashamed. And what was what, what's the famous um saying of a woman? Ain't no shame in my game. The brother likes to bring out, you know, an older saying, um, mama's baby, daddy's maybe. You know, that's that's no shame in your game. What do you mean daddy's maybe? It's for sure. Okay, we know it came from between your legs, so we know it's yours, but it might not be your, might not be the father that you think it is. Because that's what you women do. Not all of you women. This is who it fits. To those that, that it fit. You know, but the society has you gassed up and the most high is going to deflate you, deflate you. I think is how you said he's going to deflate you. You know. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much where I'm going to end it. You know, that has a lot of. um. Yeah, man, that, has, that that's pretty much where I'm going to end it. Um, Lord willing, you know, the sister that asked me if she checked this out, she's edified. Um, and anybody else that, that may have been wondering about this, Lord willing, you're edified, you know, in the name of your how about you, me outside. So, you know, until next time I say shalom.